welcome back to my channel in this video we're gonna talk about what is looping how it work what is the use of that in programming everything we'll see the dry run we'll see the example everything about looping if you're on a lawn just follow along with the series of videos in this playlist we'll talk about looping only And specifically, if you are familiar with any programming language, C, C++, Java, QBasic, this concept is same for all. And in this video or in this playlist, I will be showing you practically dry run of QBasic programming. There are three types of looping. <clears throat> First is while loop. Second is do while loop. Third is for loop. So we'll see that practically. Okay, now what is looping? Looping is a concept of repeatedly executing the same thing until the condition is met in the programming. Let's take an example. If you want to print your name 10 times in the QBasic, what you'll do, you will write print statement 10 times, print your name, print your name, print your name, up to 10 times. But if you want to print your name 100 times, what you'll do? You can't write it 100 times. No? If you want to print your name 1000 times, what you'll do? You don't you have to write thousand times but using the loop using the looping concept you can write it down only once in the QBasic but it will be printed thousand times it will be printed hundred times depending upon your condition so using looping we have to repeatedly we can repeatedly execute or print the same line of code repeatedly until the condition is met so how to do that practically let's say in the computer screen if you want to learn about all types of loop very easily, like this video, comment below, subscribe and click on the bell icon so you'll get the notification for the new videos. And you can check out the playlist in my YouTube channel. There are many more things you can learn in very easiest way. Thank you for watching. Let's go to the screen now. As you can see here, we are in the laptop screen now. The program is print your name 15 times. So what we have done is we have written here print make easy print make easy print make easy 15 times and it is printed in the output screen also but the problem is if the question asks to print you print your name 100 times what you will do you will write it 100 times print 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 if question asks you to print thousand times what you can do you can write it again and again a thousand times but it will take more than one hour or two hour so for this problem we have solution that is using the while loop how to do let's see now as you can see using the while loop how we can do the same thing very easily in this program we have done five times only we are printing our name five times only you can print it hundred times thousand times two thousand five hundred times i will be showing you exactly how to do that with dry run so it will be very easy to understand okay first of all cls to clear the output screen n equals to one we kept the value n equals to one i make this box to dry run the program n equals to one done next while n less than equals to five this is what starting of the while loop while n less than equals to five n means one 1 less than equals to 5 condition true yes because 1 is less than 5 if condition is true then it will be executed this is the body of the while loop after while before the w e n d this is what body of the while loop when this condition is true it will be executed okay so what is written here print my name is make easy so it will be printed in the output screen let's say this is our output screen i will print it here one time printed next n equals to n plus 1 n means already we have 1 so n equals to n plus 1 means 1 plus 1 that's why it is 2 now n value is 2 w e n d it means w means while end means end so while end end of the while loop but before the end of the while loop when we come here it will go to the while loop again and check the condition where what is the condition n less than equals to 5 n value is 2 
2 less than equals to 5 condition true yes so when condition is true it will be printed so let me print it in the output screen printed twice done again n equals to n plus 1 we have value already 2 in n so 2 plus 1 is 3 good then w e n d while end so before it end it will go here and again check the condition now n value is 3 3 less than equals to 5 condition again true print it three times again n equals to n plus 1 that means n value is already 3 3 plus 1 is 4 w e n d while end before end it will go here and check the condition 4 less than equals to 5 because n value is 4 condition true then it will print it again so let me print it printed n equals to n plus 1 again n value is already 4 plus 1 means 5 so w end before it end it will go here and check the condition 5 less than equals to 5 condition is true yes because 5 is not less than 5 but equals to 5 so then it is true and after true it will print this line in the output screen print and n equals to n plus 1 n value is already 5 so 5 plus 1 is 6 w e n d before this end it will go here in the while loop and check the condition 6 less than equals to 5 condition is false because 6 is greater than 5 so when condition is false it will go directly to this line after this w e n d loop end end this means end of the program and as you can see here in the output screen this is printed five times so this is how it work if i keep 15 here in the place of 5 then it will be printed 15 times if i keep here 100 then it will be printed 100 times if i keep 1000 it will be printed 1000 times in the same way so just dry run this program once at home and you will be very much clear about this concept next take a screenshot of this everything is written here like what is the use of CLS clearing the data of how to screen RAM is used to write the comment in the program this is what starting of while loop while starting it will check the condition when the condition is true then it will print this line or execute this line we are repeating we are repeatedly printing this line printing name and n equals to n plus 1 body of while loop again this is an value increment next w e n d end of while loop and end of the program so this is how it work so let me run this program in qbasic and let me show you yes this is qbasic screen and this is qb64 this is very much useful for qbasic programming practice you can copy paste it here in this way i have copied that program i have pasted here it's very much simple i'm not going to print it a thousand times for now i will print it five times only let's run the program pressing f5 we can run or we can go to the run option and run it as you can see here i have written this print statement only once and it is printed five times good if i keep here 10 in the place of 5 then it will be printed 10 times but still i am writing here only once it is printed 10 times in the place of this if i keep 50 then again it will be printed 50 times so this is how we do thank you for watching if you understand the concept if it is helpful for you click on the like button click on the subscribe button and share with your friends click on the bell icon so you'll get the notification for the do while loop for loop with example in very easiest way you can understand it have a good day.